Hello. Hey guys, this is not our regular Waste Not Wednesday. We wanted to show you the shop that Junk built. Yes, it's going to be a Waste Not Wednesday filled with all the things that we've been doing on Waste Not Wednesdays. We want to show you all of our projects, where how we got everything set up. It's not perfect, but sometimes done is better than perfect, right? Well, and we've got some time before the grand opening. We can layer some stuff back in. We realize now the space is much bigger than we thought it was, so we've got to go do more shopping. So that means our thrift hauls are going to be awesome. If you're new to our channel, we go live every Wednesday with Waste Not Wednesday. We show you what you can do with junk and discarded items at 10.30 a.m. So hit that notifications button and please subscribe. Let's get this tour started. All right, so I'm gonna fly the camera around and Jamie's gonna be our tour guide. Oh, okay, hold on, I'm I, ready. I'm I, tour guide Barbie. Yep, I will, okay. I will make... Let's show them the entrance, let's take it I off. I will make there. some, uh, oh, we should show them the door. Oh, okay, we'll start with the front door. It's a little bit loud because it's morning time and we're on Main Street. And it's raining, so that makes the road just much gonna, louder hold here. On, just do something with that. <laughs> Stop struggling. <laughs> okay, so front door. Painted an aviary, and then of course IOD transfers. I'm gonna shut this; it's a little bit loud. Um, the IOD transfers I used were Midnight Garden and Redow, and this is sealed in Big Top because it's covered the porch. It doesn't get direct sunlight, so I think that these transfers will be okay. Plus, we have a storm door, so I didn't have to use outdoor sealer because it's protected by the storm door that's here and it's covered. So we'll see how long they last and we'll let you know. I forgot to clean the glass off. I gotta get yeah, that done. Yeah, there's still paint on the glass. <laughs> of, of the many things, we, we were here till one tagging everything and putting barcodes on stuff, so. But the door's painted, the kick bar's up, we cleaned it all up, we got some balloons. It's rainy outside and windy, so we've got balloons zip tied to the front porch. All right, so when you come in, this is our entryway here. I wanted it to look as much like an entryway as possible. So if you wanna scroll down so they can kinda see it. So we've got this skinny little dresser here and then a coat rack above it. The fun thing is that this is on a French cleat and I have it set up so they can just pull it off and the back that's screwed into the wall, I actually have another one taped so they don't have to unscrew it from the wall. They can just give them the whole thing. The hardware is ready to go. Yeah, and then we can just throw another one back up and we don't have to put a hundred holes in there. Yeah, and this is just an old antique window. We've got some hooks that we purchased off of Amazon and IOD transfers, so a good junk make over there. Everything that you see here was thrifted and upcycled and redone, stamped, painted, reimagined, so all of these items are thrifted. Except for those corbels. Oh, we yeah. make those on the website, so if you can't come see us local, go hit the website Yeah, up. these are the Mariah corbels. They actually, the ones you get, I think have little bumpies on. These were the prototype. Yep. So yeah, but everything else is thrifted. We'll take you around this Oh, tour. the jewelry bar. This jewelry bar took way more than I thought, Hanzo. This jewelry bar took us a minute to pull together because we had it all set up and then we're like, wow, we need to paint the lattice on there. Yeah, so, so lattice is not thrifted, but all of this jewelry was purchased on Facebook Marketplace. We sanitized it with alcohol and then I went on Amazon and I purchased these jewelry um, holders so it just looks a little bit more professional. Then we've got rings here on this thrifted little um, tray. And then instead of individually pricing them, we've just got the base prices here. And they're really well priced because it was all found jewelry. So I think it'd be fun for somebody to come in here. There's a mix of styles, something for everybody. And then this little jewelry holder here that we've got the bracelets on actually came from Molly and she thrifted it. She was uh, getting rid of it when she moved and I scooped it up. Yeah, and if you didn't see yesterday's video, we have a DIY on how to get this paint look. Yeah, this we're not gonna sell. This is actually not old wood. This is new wood from Home Depot and we made it look super chippy and aged. And then this shutter, I was going to put the earrings on it, but I got paint down in all the rungs. So Zeb just hung some nails on it for me and I actually like that better anyways. Yeah, it works. And well, when the way they were hanging, because once you put the, uh, the earrings on, the hooks for the earrings, we're sticking out way too far. It was like making everything come up weird off of there, so. Yeah, and we're not, we don't have our iPad out for comments, but we'll check them later and get back to you on that. So down below, we've got bar stools. These I found on Marketplace, three for $25. They got a fresh coat of old school and some sealer on them, and I have them marked at $34.95 each. So this is our jewelry bar. 
Um, I don't expect that people are going to sit at it, but I just thought bar stools are the perfect item to sell. The bar is a little high. It's kind of on purpose because we want to kind of keep little kids out of there as much as possible. They might climb on the stools and things, but you know. And also it's high enough that like two or three year olds that don't pay attention aren't going to crack their head on it. Yeah. That's the other thing. I wanted them to be able to fit underneath it. So if you come around here, when you walk in, we have this display. This is a permanent fixture. It's not for sale. Zeb, Thrip, if you watched last week's Waste Not Wednesday, we made two big shelves, and they're behind here. Those we ones took, over there. We'll yeah. show you in a minute. We took one big shelf, Zeb cut it in half, and made this display kind of like an island. And we've got thrifted candlesticks. All of these items were thrifted except for a few of these turned candlesticks that made, but everything else was thrifted and upcycled. Um, even this lamp, it looks brand new, but it's not. It was thrifted. And then this one originally was going to be our jewelry bar, but it was just too big, so we've decided to sell this mirror. Oh, you decided to sell this. I thought we were keeping this. No, I decided that if we have an event, we're going to need more than that. That anyways. cleaned up really nice. It was so... Yeah. It looked like it had, like, water stains on it. Really Dawn bad. and... Uh, water this soap and water does amazing things all right you want to take them over here to our yeah this is the hoosier that we put back together on a waste not wednesday yeah this hoosier was in parts and we assembled it at the farmhouse and it did have doors on it but we took those off because we want to display everything in it the hoosier is not going to be for sale it's a permanent fixture here and then i put this old chicken feeder up here it's also not for sale it's going to be a permanent display for all of my tarnished silver well some of it i have a whole bunch but I saw that, I think on Pinterest, and I thought, oh, that's a really smart way to display all of it. And you really can like see it well from down here. So I just thought that was good. And I did a mixture of items on here, just varying heights and textures, just to give it a little bit of interest. And of course, the- Here are the- uh... The, dogs. the controversial apothecary dogs. They turned out so cute, and in real life, they're not. They're more of a blue green, and they have white wax on them, so they've toned down. Everybody, and yes, I do agree with everybody. You know, the floppy green ears that kind of looks like Yoda, but he's cute. I've had people ask me about this. I don't think it's going to last very long. We have our unpainted puppy here that we've had for a little bit. Um, restyled that. Oh, and the and the bread box and the, the old quilt. Yeah, that, the quilt was given to us. I wrote down the name, I can't remember, but I had a really awesome follower that brought me a whole bunch of stuff. Oh, super chat, thank you. Let's see, Margie Lynn Burgett. Thank you for that. I dance chat. with it, shake the camera around. Yeah, hopefully I have not missed any other super chats. It's a little crazy this morning. Okay, so we have, this is the big display from Last Waste Not Wednesday. Two shelves, two shutters. Zeb will show you the side. Um, everything on here is found. Like nothing on here was purchased new. So a couple people asked me in the comments why we put these on upside down. We were gonna hang things off of there and we still can. Originally we were gonna use this for the jewelry on the side here, but we decided to make that corner over there. For the, yeah. So that's why they're upside down instead of flipped the other way. Well, and we can still put hooks on here and hang like hand towels or things like that that we make. So if you flip them upside down, they're great for display, which is why we did that. And then the other morning, we, we is this thrifted? You picked this up. I yard sell this for $15 and I couldn't sleep last week and I painted it and stenciled it. So that's one of our JRV stencils in there. And I think we have it for $49.95. And then these baskets, although they're not old tobacco baskets, they were thrifted. I bought them secondhand. And I was able to pick up these four, and then I've actually got two more on over here that I'll show you in a minute. And Zeb hung them evenly. Mostly evenly. Mostly evenly. They're, they're not uniform in size, so I did my best. Um, we have a little bit of trim that still needs to go in here, Zeb. Oh, we didn't I, quite I put that down in the basement and forgot about it. Yeah, that I, happens. I slept on that. All right, let's show them the back of this front island. So in the island, we've got that display here. This is actually for sale, so we'll have a myriad of pieces that like float in between here. Um, you want to just kind of scroll down so they can see that dresser. I think we paint. I don't. Was, did this make a thrift store haul? I yes. Don't know if we this I purchased from Deseret Industries for sixty-five dollars. It's solid wood, French provincial. It's worth a ton more. We have it at three sixty-nine, but that's a steal because it's dovetailed in solid wood, so it's really well made. And then I kind of staged some more candlesticks over here with these um, baskets. And the reason why I put the basket underneath it is because sometimes. 
when you have paint and painted items, they'll stick to each other. So this basket serves as decor and also a barrier between the. It'll give it time to cure up because some. Well, of this is finished. It's, yeah, but those are brand new. Yesterday. These are yeah. We just <laughs> painted these, and then I've got baskets on each side with greenery. It just kind of levels that design out. If you want to back up, you can kind of show them the whole. Can you see it? I can't yeah. see. Yeah, you can see the whole thing. So you guys can kind of see how that's laid out there. All and right. This is in the new DIY this aviary is color. Aviary. Cute little thrifted nightstand. Added, we changed out the um, dated pool to this cup pool. I purchased these on Amazon too. They're really inexpensive if you purchase them on Amazon. A couple more thrifted items. This was a, a Waste Not Wednesday a while back along with that scalloped shelf. Yeah, we uh, I messed up on a coffee table build and cut them too short, so we made shelves out of them. Yeah, hooks. so, you know, never throw anything out. Then we've got our sweater pumpkins. These are actually from a few years ago, so if you look up Jamie Ray Vintage Sweater Pumpkins. If you, you want to watch an old video yeah, and it's an old see video. when we were first getting started, we did those on a fall video. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> it's totally an old video and we don't even have those priced yet, so we need to make sure we do that. We've got our look. We moved our merchandise over here because people were concerned about it fading. And I was right. concerned about it too. I was right there yeah. with you guys. <laughs> we have more coming. We've got hats that we'll put on the shelves below, but for now. They should be here by the end of the week. Yeah. We even thrifted these mannequins. We didn't purchase these new. I purchased these at the thrift store. I did buy the display at Ikea, but we thrifted the mannequins. All right. And then let's show them over here the fireplace. Yeah, Tell them about your shiplap adventure. Okay, so if you guys watched yesterday's video, I shiplap this myself, but I just measured the bottom board and then went up just to make save time. And Do you the, want me to show them? Yeah. The boards are all the same so size. So I got here, I'm like, oh, the house wasn't square. <laughs> See? So these topiaries are no longer for sale. They look good, and it's also hiding a little carpentry mishap. I honestly don't care enough to fix it. And one of my little tips is, rather than shiplapping all the way up and having to, like, cut a board, I just trimmed it out on top and painted it to match, and then Zeb didn't have to bust out the table saw and cut a board for me. We were kind of in Well, and you can see from here, it's not even, it's narrower down here than it is up there. And all these boards are the exact same size. So sometimes when you're dealing with old houses, things are not even... Um, this mirror was thrifted. I decided not to paint it because I like the way the gold accents it. And we will keep a mirror here all the time or a big clock. That way we're not putting new holes in it. So it's this amazing. fireplace was plastered over just like our fireplace in the 1917 house. And we're going to probably hopefully get similar look like this on our fireplace when yeah, we're all we're done. we're going to German schmear it. Um, let's see what else we got. These three pots here, they were in our video the other day. We did uh, IOD, paper clay, wax. I did a pattern where I took my brush and painted like this, and that gave me more texture to kind of make them look like old, worn pots. And then I literally took my fingernail and scraped the paint off when it was fresh to kind of make it look chippy. Worked for me. Um, oh, Zeb, we're missing a screw in this. Yep, I have the screws. I brought them today. Okay, sweet. So we've got a chippy chair here. This is uh, the... We thrifted this for $5, it was super rickety. Zeb scraped off all the Gorilla Glue, the expanding Gorilla Glue, <laughs> and um, <laughs> we painted it in aviary. Note to self, don't use Gorilla Glue that expands on your furniture, it just separates it. Zeb fixed it all up and sturdied it, and I love the color because I feel like it's gender neutral. It's really an earthy tone and kind of ties together. It's a good fall color. Like this with navy and golds is really pretty. Yeah. Yeah. And then we have our, our cash register and checkout and the scanner Check on the table. If now. you come today, you can get some donut yeah, holes. Yeah, we got donut holes today from Lehigh Bakery. Um, we even have balloons outside from Pioneer Party that's local to Lehigh Main Street. We've got our chalkboard. I'm not super great at hand art, but I put a little bit of notes on here for everybody that comes in. This is just a headboard and a footboard. We did a video on it. We just inverted them, is how it's called. Yep. Um, married them in the middle and made a fun little chalkboard. And then we had some bags over there. And then this, I think we showed it on a yeah, thrift store haul. It was what, 50 bucks or 25? $25. It was in parts that glued it back together. It still needs it. We're going to put a shelf down it here. It didn't have a drawer. And I broke a piece of glass cleaning it and sturdying all of those frames. So we just for left the it. We, it's nice to have no glass because I can just pull what you need. <laughs> without having to open it because these doors are kind of janky. But for $25, th 
thrifting this was a lot better than going to Ikea and spending $100 on something that's going to be rickety. Plus, the style totally fits our aesthetic. Well, and the bottom hides all of the electronics, all the internet and security and all yeah, of that. Yeah, we've got all the, the modem, the router, the DVR for the um, security system. We've got our little camera right here. We have a Vivint system. I can actually talk through that, so if I can't get um, my my girls that work here if i can't get them on the phone and i have an emergency or something i can actually talk to them through the cameras so that's really helpful also if they have an emergency they can like push the button and talk to me if they can't find the phone let's see you want to talk to them about these chairs oh sure. don't let me forget i got to screw that seat in too yeah. so where are we at on time we open at 11. okay so we got like 13 more minutes to get through the shop so these three chairs i actually purchased secondhand from molly um, they actually had part of the round pieces on the bottom were broken. Rather than fixing it, we just used dark and decrepit on the back side of them. Can, I don't know if you can even see that. Here, I'll just pull it out. Yeah. We used dark and decrepit on the back. So like right here, instead of being new wood, it just kind of makes it look old. And that fixed that. And I just cleaned them up. I left them natural wood. So and those be, are just grain sacks on there? Yeah, just old grain sacks that I upholstered with. So that's also a junk item here and this and is then, our idaho chair yeah we picked that one in idaho and i had these priced at 33.95 because i didn't paint them so it's basically like the cost of the chair with a little bit of extra for my time for recovering the seats which was no big deal okay so this was free from my neighbor it had a very lovely toll painting finish on it and they had sealed it with oil-based sealer so it's kind of yellow and then i painted a sunset on it and the sense oh we got super chat hold on who is that? Oh, someone's calling me here. Oh, Sabrina Pert. Thank you for the super chat. Um, and then I painted it black. Hold on. Someone's calling It looks calling. like it's a uh, telemarketer. Yeah, it's a robocall. <laughs> we got a robocall on the work phone. Um, <laughs> anyways, so I didn't really love the sunset finish because it didn't really match my style. So I got a black paint job. Boom, done. And then Zeb hung up these mirrors. They've got IOD. These two have IOD transfers on them. Always really popular here. I think we did the, those on a Waste Not Wednesday, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I believe so. So it's kind of fun. You guys it's can see. It's been a while. Those have been here for a little longer. You guys can see that you can take like thrifted items and discarded and junk and really create like a beautiful look in the shop, in your home. So this is the fun room. It's not complete yet, but this is our product room. So this is where you come to get your IOD, your JRV stencils. Which we stenciled on the bottom. Yeah, we, we used our wildflower stencil in aviary and I just filled it with clear wax down there. I didn't get the signs made yet. We're going to do a JRV sign up there. Probably like a DIY paint sign over here because this is the DIY yeah. paint display. We're we are low on paint because we've been shipping out paint like crazy. We've got 10 boxes of paint coming today. So um, we're going to get more out and then we'll restock, but we had to get the doors open with the paint that we had. Um, it's actually quite a bit, but this is a huge display. So in about another couple weeks, it's going to be fully stocked on here. We have almost all of our dressers painted in all the DIY paint colors. I did put the new dressers by the, or the new colors dressers by them. So that way people would know they were the new colors and they could see what they look like sealed. And then we have the paintbrush display. This is just the hooks that are made for the pegboard. And I just used big staples and nailed them to the wall. Yeah, and we're gonna have more brushes coming. Caitlin will be back and she's gonna finish restocking um, those brushes. And we actually have two more of these, which we're going to need because JRV stencil brushes are coming soon. So we've got that in here. Did this? I show them the IOD? I don't remember. No. We have a whole video on it though. Yeah, we did a whole and video And the backer on, on that is painted in the same color that the shelving displays are out there. Yeah, you want to give them a pan, kind of go up and down. Yeah, so here. this is old school on this backer board. And then I'm going to come back in with transfers and transfer and stamp along the top. I don't know, can you flip it up a little bit more? So we have all the space up here that I'm going to use to do IOD on. And then um, I'm going to use molds on this frame, but that's... We've got some fun new molds coming. Shh. No, we don't. No? No. <laughs> oh. All right. Okay, so here's our, our display here um, with all the JRB stencils. And we've got... We, I can tell you that we do have new Christmas stencils probably next week. So make sure you guys go to jamierayvintage.com and sign up for our email so you know. And then we've got in here nothing because I have a new line of milk paint coming in here. It's made by Sweet Pickens. It's called Old Fashioned Milk Paint. And then we have another line of milk paint coming in that's going to go over here. It's actually not milk paint. It's called the Farmhouse Paint. It's powdered. 
So it's eco-friendly because it comes with smaller packaging, but it doesn't chip. So if you love sweet pickings, but you want something that's not gonna chip, new line coming. That will online and in the shop. So Zeb's gonna install a light in here to brighten this all up. And we'll get yeah, that That's a little dim now. Yeah, next month we'll have that in. By the opening, we'll have all the new paint in. Then this room has mostly things we already had in our old. Yeah, so this is our furniture room. Okay. Okay, let me come back. So much. I, so many items on my furniture, so you really can see how beautiful it all is. Um, and then I kind of pared down and limited what I put in here. So it's more furniture. This is new. This is a piece we had on a Saturday night haul. I think I paid $75 or $80. We have it for $300. This is a vanity. I just did some chippy milk paint because it's kind of a different piece. And I just thought chippy milk paint would really highlight how awesome it is. So got that in here. And I think everything else has been in here for a while. We did an island in the middle of furniture to kind of take space. We didn't put anything high. You don't want to be blocking it. And then these two pieces are taller, so we moved them all the way to the back. We've got this hutch here, this dresser. And then we're working on it. It's not quite finished. This is probably my favorite little thing. We got to stuff it full of stuff. Yeah, so we've got this little alcove in here. And Zeb is going to electrify these other lights that we did on a waste. Were these a waste on Wednesday? Mm. They were Ikea something. Yeah. They were old well, we Ikea have, colanders. We have this one, but you haven't... I think they were a waste on Wednesday, because I yeah. remember drilling so them live. This is an old one. These are lamps, so Zeb will get those electrified today. And it'll be fun, because they'll kind of lighten up this closet here, and it's almost like a stage, like, ta-da! So we can put fun pieces of furniture in here. Zeb's got to get the pools on that. Yeah. yeah. Lots of little things I... I have shown all the so many of these things were waste not Wednesdays or I know this is new. This we picked up at a yard sale thing for like three bucks or That's whatever. Yeah, it, I couldn't get like I cleaned it, but I couldn't get it clean. This wasn't waste not Wednesday. This we found on the side of the road. This is that dough box. Yeah. I went ahead and white waxed it to kind of give it a cohesive look. Turned out kind of fun. So. And then the chest is yeah, still. The chest it's is, still available, needing a good home. Chest is here, but now you can actually see it because I have more space to actually display things. So I didn't realize it, but I actually need to do more shopping. We got a few little bare spaces on the wall. These alcoves on the top are kind of hard, this curved yeah. spot. So we've got coved ceilings. It's, 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 hard to, uh, it's hard to get stuff up on there. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And then I'll show, I'm not gonna open the door because it's so bad, but back here is very exciting. This is my studio. This is my old room that I used to sell out of that is now gonna be where I paint and do projects we're going to film our Waste Not Wednesdays in here, Saturday thrift hauls. So we're going to work probably another day out in the main area. And then we're going to come get this set up. It's got great lighting and we'll have a proper studio to film in and a place where I can do projects not on the kitchen island. So right here, this little hall is kind of overflow. There's not really anything back here. I'm we're need signs. Yeah, we're going to probably put signs or like as the product lines grow, we'll put more yeah. inventory out here, do a big pegboard or something right here. Yeah. For now, I'm going to do signs because we have all those signs that we did with the new JRV stencil. Zeb's going to frame them out. And we're just going to... Hold on, guys. Hang on. Wait for it. All did right, we get we're it? connected. How okay. long was it not connected? Just a second. Oh, okay. All right. Well, there is our tour for our Waste Not Wednesday. Um, if it was buffering, go ahead and watch this once it gets up. Usually YouTube cleans it up. Be sure to give us a thumbs up. Visit jamierayvintage.com and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more. DIY. Bye, guys. Love you. Have a great day.